No guns, no tribal fights was the promise made by the Melpa Lutheran Church leaders of Mount Hagen and the Kemi Kukwilka tribes during the burial service of pioneer bishop of the Melpa Lutheran Church of Papua New Guinea, Sananke Doyle. The leaders made known the peace work of the late bishop and his dedicated life to pastoral work of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Papua New Guinea. A member of the church, Isaac Kumbamong, said, the bishop led in so many tribal fights, peace processes in the four corners of Western Highlands province. I've been going past, long making peace come up long this la fight, long 1976. All Muntika, one time all Kobil guy got big la fight long all. Now bishop go past, long making peace. 1982, all Katika and all Kumun guy got big la fight long all. Now bishop go past. 1983, Because of these warring tribes surrendered their weapons which were buried under this crucifixion. Some of the guns kept by the bishop were dismantled by church elders and buried together in the graves with the bishop's coffin. Archbishop Douglas Young of the Mount Hagen Catholic Church, who led the burial mass, described Bishop Sananke as a mentor and an educationist. Just when Bishop Sananke was about to be laid to rest, the heavens opened up, marking an end to the life of a great man. The late bishop was born in 1945 into the Kukilka tribe in Mount Hagen. He served as the head bishop of the Melpa Lutheran Church of Papua New Guinea until his death. He leaves behind four children and 13 grandchildren. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.